Hilton, nice big squad of 26 players here for, for this national camp. Tell us about the objectives of this camp in particular and why you decided to have one. I think for us as a team post the uh, Sri Lanka series is to again touch base with the rest of the squad, see where all the players are as far as skills is concerned. I think we went back and we look at things that we did well. I think for us is to continue doing that, to make sure also there's frequent uh, contact sessions with players to make sure that we continue on the things that we started since the year started. I mean, our objective is very simple. It's a year, we know that. Other than the T20 matches we're going to play, the ODI series is very crucial for us, so we need to make sure we keep the players focused and we don't lose sight of what needs to happen uh, with the upcoming tour. And also to make sure to make sure that each and everyone in the squad, new players coming in, players uh, on the rehab and w- with those who've got injuries, what the status quo is of the squad, to make sure that uh, we're moving forward as a team and the culture also as a team is also improving on every day that we go. I think overall for us is just to make sure that we touch base with everyone and help prepare again with the upcoming cricket week to make sure that everybody understands what is expected from them. Nice young group of youngsters that has also been included. Some exciting new faces. Tell us a little bit about some of the new invitees. No, there's a lot of them that, that, that came in. I mean, uh, the one that actually at the top of my head when you look at Nondumiso Shangaze, uh, betting on Ronda, one of those that has come from KZN, has actually put in some good performances, been part of the academy. She's coming back again. It's one we feel that is going to be growing for the future. Then we have Ferunja uh, Reddy, uh, keep her better. That is uh, from Eastern, this is the first camp, uh, it's also new. I think uh, for us what is very exciting is to see that we're starting to grow the base. Now where we had one player per position, we're starting to develop into three, four quality players per position. As you saw in the past series, we had key, some of the key players injured and missing due to fitness and that, etc. And then uh, all the youngsters came in. I mean, we continue with the players like uh, Nadine. It's good also to see Aya back from injury. Trisha started training with the team now also. That shows now the competitiveness in the squad is very good. And with everyone here for us, we feel that uh, it's good to see new faces. It shows that the system is moving forward, moving in the right direction. And the new faces is very youngsters. That's uh, under 23. So it's for us, it's a very good plus. They can uh, rub shoulders with these youngsters, the seniors here. And for us, at the end of the day, it's just to make sure that everyone coming into the system, giving the opportunity, they know what needs to happen going forward. It's always nice to have these youngsters included pretty early so that they are aware of what the standard is when they get to national to national level. Do you think that um, the players, based on what you've seen so far, I mean, it's only day one, but based on what you've seen, how do you feel about, about them? No, day one, for somebody that comes in new, it's always uh, could be an inti- intimidating environment. Because remember some of these youngsters, they look really up to these players as uh, part of these uh, heroes and they looked up to these players as role models. Now all of a sudden they're in the same camp as them and they have to start sharing ideas with them. It could be a bit intimidating. And it's uh, what is good to see is how everybody makes them settle, how they welcome them. And uh, the work goes on. At the end of the day, they pick to do a job and they know that uh, they bring a rare skill. Whatever skill they need to do, they do it to the best of their ability. And everyone in the camp or in the squad is here to help them do it. So for us, it's very positive and we're very happy to see how everyone is going and how they get along and they know that at the end of the day we've got a year before the World Cup so we need to make sure the preparation is spot on.